Hi, you guys. I miss seeing you guys. Doing these videos is so weird feeling sometimes, but I figure it's probably a little bit more fun for you guys seeing me every now and then in a video than just watching other people. So anyway, I miss coming in and teaching you guys in the gym though. So hi guys. Anyway, Mrs. Bridgewater has a broom here today. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with our broom. We're gonna work a little hard with our broom. Um, if you don't have a broom that's kind of like this, mine is just um, just a regular sheep old broom sort of thing, kind of a small one, then just use whatever you can find that's long and slender. If you have um, a dad who has pipe out in the garage that's not real heavy just like some plastic PVC pipe you can use that you could use a pool noodle if you have one of those laying around some of you may some of you might not so anyway just something kind of long and skinny um, you could also just uh, use the a little bit bigger broom if you have it just makes it a little bit harder so whatever whatever works for you if you don't have it then sometimes you might not be able to do some of these activities, but you could do some of the other ones with like a line on the floor, um, something like that. So anyway, Mrs. Bridgewater doesn't have anything necessarily planned today. We're just gonna kind of go on and do the best we can. We're gonna start with some balancing, then we'll get a little bit harder as we go, get warmed up a little bit. Um, some of this is eye-hand coordination, meaning that we watch the item land in our hands, kind of like when we catch, um, but we're not using a ball this time, we're using our broomstick instead. So we're gonna just have a little fun with our broom today, okay? Uh, hopefully my video will be a little bit better in terms of me not getting my head cut off, although sometimes I may accidentally get off to the side depending on what we're doing. Um, that's just because I can't keep my video moving at the same time because I have no videographer today. I thought maybe it'd be best if I didn't let one of my kids video me. So anyway, let's get going here, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is actually we're gonna take our broom and we're going to put it upside down in my hand and I'm gonna see if I can balance it on my hand. So with that being said, make sure that you're not anywhere where you can knock over mom and dad's lamps or something special. Make sure you have a little bit of room. If it starts to fall, make sure you catch it. Don't let it fall all the way to the floor if you're near something that might knock it down. So let's see how long we can balance it on our right hand or our dominant hand, okay? If I don't look at the video, it's because I'm concentrating on mine. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, I got 10 seconds. Remember, you have to do small movements with your hand and your arm to be able to keep it up there. Let's try again. Ready? Go. One, two, small movements. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Ooh, I beat my time. 12, 13. Can you beat yours? 14, 15, 16, oh, 16 was it for me that time. Okay, guess what? Now we get to try our other hand. This one might be a little bit harder. Let's try our opposite side. Balancing, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, this one's a lot harder. There we go, I only got five seconds. Let's try another one. One, two, three, four, five. I just beat my time, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Oh, only 10 seconds that time. Okay, and you can keep going if you want to and keep trying. We're just gonna, Miss Bridgewater is gonna go ahead and move on to the next things. So just for fun, we're gonna put our broom on the ground like this and we are going to swing it back and forth from hand to hand. So make sure the broom is on the outside of your foot here. Okay, and we're going to push it to the other hand and catch it with that hand. Push it to the other hand, catch it with that hand. Okay, my broom is a little bit crooked on the one side when I push it back. So you might need to adjust it best you can. Let's just push it from one hand to the other. Keep your eye. Oh, I dropped mine on the broom. Again, that's another reason why you want to make sure you have some space here. You don't, 
don't want to drop it on mom and dad's things. Okay, push it and catch it with the other hand, push it through the other side. Nice job. Keep going. The next one will be fun because we'll incorporate our catches with our hands and our feet. All right, let's see, can we do it a little faster? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many in a row can you do without messing up? Hands should be a little bit closer when you do this one. Watch it land in your hands every single time. Just like when you catch a ball, you watch the ball, whoops, land in your hands. See, I took my eye off of the brooms that were done. Okay, let's do a little something different this time. So, I'm gonna let the broom on the outside of my feet, my feet are closer together this time, I'm gonna let my broom fall down to my foot and I'm gonna catch it with my foot. But when I catch it with my foot, it's like catching a soccer ball. So what I wanna do is I wanna start with my foot up higher and then let the broom fall down onto it, okay? Now that the broom is on my foot, I'm gonna fling it back up here and catch with my hand. Okay, so again, I'm gonna drop it onto my foot and let my foot catch it nice and gentle, okay? And then bring it back up, catch it with your hand. Drop it, foot catches it, and bring it back up. Oh, that was a weird one. Ready? Drop it, catch it. Remember, give with your foot. They call that giving with your foot. Drop it and bring it back up. I'm balancing on my non-dominant foot because I'm catching it right now with my dominant foot. So I'm balancing at the same time with my leg and working all those little tiny muscles that are inside this leg. Push it back up. Nice job. Let's do a couple more. One more time. And up. Guess what? Now we get to try the other side. So put your broom over here on this side. Ooh foot out, okay, foot up and up, and drop it, and catch it down here, push it back up. Oh, that wasn't a good enough push. And I'm balancing on my dominant leg this time, but it's a little bit harder to lift it this time with my non-dominant foot. Woo! Good job. How many times can you catch it? Oh, I lost my balance. See, we're working on that balance. Good job. A couple more times. Woo, good work. And up, very good, nice job. Okay, this time we are gonna put the broom back here. We're gonna start back here. We're gonna push it forward we're gonna catch it with the same hand. We're gonna catch it as close to the ground as we can. Okay, so I'm gonna push that broom forward. Oh, I caught it right before it hit the floor. Okay, push it forward, catch it right before it hits the floor. Push it forward, catch it. Keep your eye on that broom. So you're taking a big step forward, which also means that we are working on those hamstring muscles back here as we are catching. We're gonna lunge forward to catch it push it forward catch it as far to the ground as you can push it forward oh i missed it that time push it forward oh good job push it forward catch it down here nice job is your hand on the floor when you're catching it mine almost is but i don't want to squish my hand so it's not all the way let's switch sides try this one okay ready okay push it forward Ooh, that was close. Push it forward. Oh, I almost didn't let go of it. I gotta let go of it, don't I? Push it forward. There we go. I caught it that time. Push it forward. Good job. Try to push it forward. Catch it. Good work, you guys. Push it forward. Ah, fun one. That was a good one. Push. Catch down here. Good job. Push it. Catch it. Good job. See how I have to watch my broom? I can't watch you guys the whole time. 
And I have to watch my broom in order to catch it too. Let's do it a couple more times. Push, good. And push it this way. Good job. Okay, let's take our broom, put it out nice and wide here. And we're going to stretch our legs just a little bit, okay? Toe out on this side and toe out on this side. And we're gonna just squat down, okay? And hold it there just a minute. You should feel a little stretch in your abductors and inside your legs. And then come back up and stretch it a little bit further down this time. Okay, go further. Using my broom as my balance here a little bit. You can have it on this side. You can even put it straight in front of you. And up. Good job. We're gonna do it one more time. Or you can have it on this side. And down. Can you go farther? Oh, this stretches me out. I can feel it. Good job and up. Good, okay, now let's do some side to side lunge squats. So I'm gonna leave the broom here in the middle. I'm gonna turn just this foot out this way, a little bit, not all the way, okay? This foot is going to want to come up as I lean this way, and then we're gonna go over to the other side and lean this way. And bring your heel up. Keep your head and chest up. Keep your head and chest up. We're stretching and doing a squat at the same time. And actually, I have a challenge. We're kind of getting our legs warmed up here for this, but I have a one-legged squat challenge for you guys today with the broom. I might not be able to do it. It's been a while since I've done a one-legged squat. Keep going, a couple more. Stretch, head and chest up. Good job, okay. So, we're kind of stretched out. Let's do a little bit of jumping. So, you can put your broom on the ground like this. Miss Bridgewater has a step back here that if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, you can prop your broom up on one side so now you have something higher to jump over. But Mrs. Bridgewater needs a little bit more broom, so I'm gonna put my broom here because we're gonna do some side to side jumping over the broom first, okay? So, with the broom on the ground, facing forward, feet on the side of your broom, we're going to go side to side jumps over the broom with both your feet. Keep going. Make sure that you're watching. Don't land on your broomstick. That might make you fall. Nice job. And stop. All right. Let's do our crab walk around our broomstick now. Okay. What muscle are we using? Our triceps in the back of our arms. I got to go all the way around my broomstick for this one. Oh, guess what? Now we're going to reverse it. Go the other way. Go backwards around your broomstick. Nice job. You guys are doing great. Great, great, great. Stand up, we're gonna jump forward and backwards over the broomsticks this time. So again, don't land on your broomstick, okay? Make sure your feet go all the way over. Remember when you're landing, you wanna land on the balls of your feet. Remember, that's towards your toes. Not on your toes, but on the balls of your feet, the front, Part of your foot. Good job. Some of you might jump faster. Woo. Some of you might jump slower and that's okay. Whichever one you want to do is best. Nice job and stop. All right, let's bear walk around that broomstick. Bear walk, bear walk. Where's 
going to do the bear walk twice, two times around our broomstick. Good job. Okay, now for the challenging one. One foot. You're going to do your dominant foot, okay? The foot that you use all the time. Ready? And go. One, two. Oh, it's hard to go backwards. Three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, nine, ten. Let's try the other one, my non dominant one, and go. One, two, three. This is Mr. Bajor's hard one. Four, five. I'm all over the place. Six, seven, ooh, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, that ankle. All right, great job. So now we're going to do five push ups on this side of the broom. And then we're going to do a walk over plank. And we're going to do five push ups on the other side of the broom. All right, here we go. Ready? Back nice and straight. Down, one. Down, two. Down, three. Down, four. Down, five. Plank walk over the broom. Nice job. Five over here, ready? And down, one. Down, two. If you need to drop to your knees, you can. Down, three. Down, four. Down, Five, just remember, keep that back straight. Keep that back straight. Okay, standing up, we're gonna do one foot run over and back across the broom, and it's called quick feet, okay? Because we want our feet to go as quick as we can. But I'm gonna start slow. I'm gonna go step over, over, back, back. So if I start with my left foot, my left foot is going to always start first. We call that our lead leg, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do it 20 times. Ready, go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Woo, good job. Can you do the other way? Can I start with this foot and make my right leg my lead foot? Okay, ready? Go. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Four, five, six, as fast as you can. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Good work, you guys. Okay, let's bring that broom up here. All right? We're gonna do some squats. So make sure that your feet are about hip width apart. Okay, hip width apart. And remember, when we sit backwards, we're going to sit our bottoms back first. So my hips go from being, I'm way over exaggerating here. You don't normally look like that, but my hips are gonna go from forward or normal position to backwards first. So back and then bend, head and chest up. Okay, nice and tall. Let's do 10 squats. Are you ready? You can use your broom for balance if you need to. Some of you may not need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, nice job. Okay, let's put that broom back on the floor. Let's do a over and cross jump, okay? So right now my feet are straddling the broomstick, which means the broomstick is in between my feet, in the middle of my feet, and I'm going to jump and turn the other way, and then I'm gonna jump and turn the other way again, okay? We call this a, who remembers? We did it during the school year. It is a 180, very good, halfway around. Okay, are you ready? And go, jump, turn, jump, turn. You can do it as quick as you want, or 
You can do it slow if you want. Either one works. Nice job. Mrs. Bridgewater likes to do double jumps. I'm a double jumper. Couple more and stop. Very good. Okay, we're gonna do a more challenging squat this time. It's called an overhead squat. We're gonna use our broom to hold it over our heads. Now the tricky part here is making sure that you have your arms far enough apart that you can sort of pull the broom apart still, okay? So I pull my broom apart with my elbows up here. The next hard part is that you have to keep your head and your chest up. Don't let it go. So when I'm holding that broom, when I'm in my squat position, I want it to be almost back here, but I'm gonna push my armpits forward. Okay, that's the hard part. We have to have good arm flexibility for this one. This is a hard one. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of our overhead squats. 10 of our overhead squats. So feel your broom so that it gets in a good position. Make sure you can pull it apart. Okay, again, just like our squat, we're gonna make sure that we sit backwards first, okay, and then our knees are gonna bend. Ready, and sit back, and pull those arms apart. Head and chest up, broom handle over your head. That's three, that's four, that's five, six, seven, nice job, eight, good nine and ten very good okay here we go we got a challenging one here we're going to do our burpee jump over the broom okay burpee jump over the broom so we're gonna work up a sweat on this one we're gonna do it ten times ready remember burpee is down out down all the way up in and then we're gonna go over okay here we go. I gotta get a little bit closer to you guys for this one. Make sure I have room behind me so I don't hit my stuff. Okay, here we go. And go, down, all the way, up and over, down, up and over. Nice job. Three, four, five, Six, seven, you're breathing heavy. I am. Eight, nine, one more, you guys. Push, push, push. One more. And jump over. Ten. Nice work. Okay, let's pick up that broomstick again. Let's do some balancing leg lifts, okay? So I'm gonna be standing on my left leg. My right leg is gonna work. So the broom is gonna be over here on my left leg to help me balance, okay? I'm gonna bring my leg outward. Notice that I have my heel, my foot flexed, okay? I'm gonna work on this abductor on the outside of my leg. Make sure you're standing tall. I know you can hear Mrs. Bridgewater breathing heavy now. Burpees are fantastic for you. So stand tall, hold your abdominals in tight. Okay, we're gonna do 15 of these. Balance, ready? Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. Broom on the other side, hand on the other hip, leg flex, foot flex, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'm getting sweaty. Seven, I've been sweaty. Eight, nine, good job. 10, five more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15. You guys are amazing. Okay, here we go. Put that broom back on the ground. What can we do over the broom this time? Well, we're gonna work our abdominals a little bit more. So we're gonna do some plank walkovers, just back and forth. So we're gonna hold ourselves nice and straight. Okay, just like this. Remember, keep that back straight. No saggy backs. Okay, nice and straight. Shoulders away from your head. And we're gonna go one hand over, one foot over, other foot, other hand, or vice versa. Okay, we're just going back and forth. We're gonna do it 10 times. Here we go. One, all the way over. Two, three. Pull those abdominals in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Good job. And ten. Very good. All right, stand up. Let's do some front kicks, okay? So I want to work my quadricep here by bringing my knee up first, and then I'm gonna kick my foot out in front of me, okay? So it's knee up and out, and then back. All right, so I'm gonna scoot up a little bit closer because when I go back, I'm gonna take kind of a long step back here, and we're gonna do this one 20 times, okay? Here, the broom is on the same side as your kicking leg for your balance, okay? But you can put it over here as well. Mrs. Bourgeois likes it on the opposite for this one. All right, ready? And go. Up and out. One, two, three. We're going kind of quick here. Four, five. We're going to keep our cardio going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoa! Karate chop, right? All right, here we go. Let's do the other one. Ready? I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me a little bit differently. And go, knee up and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Good work, you guys. We only have three more minutes to go. What could we possibly do next? All right, here we go. So let's use our broom and pretend like we are starting a lawnmower. So we're gonna take a big step forward, okay? We're gonna keep our back straight, but our broom handle is gonna go almost all the way to the floor, right? And then we're gonna raise it up. So just like this. And we're gonna pull on this muscle back here our latissimus dorsi, as well as our trapezius, a little bit deltoid, okay, biceps and triceps. So you can either start here, if this is too easy, then go all the way to almost the floor. And we're gonna do this one 20 times. Here we go, and pull. One, two, three, four. Keep that elbow close. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, start that lawnmower, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, very good. Let's do the other side, okay? Big step. This hand can either be here or you could even have it on your elbow, okay? I like to come up here because I like my back to be a little bit straighter. And I go up, elbow close to your body. Two, three, good job. Four, five, pull, six, get it started. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. A little bit of balance here, too. 19, one more. 20, very good. All right, put that broom down on the ground. Yeah, we are going to do hands over 
and feet stay where they are. So we're gonna do our abdominals one more time, okay? Our feet are just gonna go straight behind us, okay? Just like this in plank position, but I'm gonna have my hands going forward and backwards over my broom bar. But this time we're gonna try to go as fast as we can, okay? We're gonna do it 20 times. Are you ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Sweat's getting my eyes. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, quick, 16, 17, 18. You can get your 19, 20 feet spread and stop. Woo, my sweat is getting to my eyes and it's burning my eyes. I can't see. You guys did great. That was a 30 minute. 30 minute workout with your broom and we did some strength training we did some cardio which means my heart and my lungs were getting exercise see it made me breathe heavy one of my fitness components is did it make me sweat it did because my heart rate went up so you guys did a fabulous job all right hopefully I can get another one of these on here again soon but I miss you guys so much see you guys have a great day. Good workout today.